Hi everyone, it's Danielle. I'm just trying out this for the very first time and I thought it would be interesting to see and hear how I got into planning and what sort of accessories and stickers and things like that I have and how I went about collecting those. So sit back, it's going to be a bit of a, a trek, it's going to be a little bit of a talk, so maybe grab a snack. Um, so I had originally gotten into planning because of Courtney from Kyle and Court, who are daily vloggers, or day in the life vloggers rather, and she has one and she occasionally does uh, plan with me's and I thought it was a really interesting way to keep myself on track track the weight loss that I was hoping to do, um, help with my budgeting and, you know, just be a better, general, better adult. So I waffled between the Erin Condren Life Planner and the Plum Paper Planner for a little while before I finally decided on going with the Erin Condren. So as you can see, I got it in the mid-century circles and I believe I chose a, a personalized colorway and I just got it with my first name on it. So I decided to go with the horizontal in colorful. So as you can see here, um, and the reason I chose that was because that was what I used at work. Um, having gotten into the planner community, um, I have a feeling I will be switching to the vertical later on. I think it might suit my needs better after having planned with this and also knowing that most products in the planner community are made for the vertical planner. I think that's probably better for, for me in the long run. So originally, sorry, um, originally I had never planned on doing the whole sticker route. I had just picked up some tri plus statler markers which are around here somewhere um and i had just planned on color coding things um and using my marker to do that um and then i had gone to michael's one day like i said i had never planned on going the the sticker route and then i'd gone to michael's and i'd found a couple little um kits that you can find there that are just like a couple sheets that are multiples and so on and so forth and I picked those up and that's sort of my gateway that's how I got into this whole sticker route so I'll just push those up so you can actually see so I picked up these guys and I I didn't use a lot of them because I found that even though they were cute they didn't really suit my needs because I wasn't doing like headers and this one I don't think was actually sized for anything similar to an Erin Condren. So I used a couple, but I didn't use a lot. Um, this one I used a little bit more. Uh, again, a not so much my colorway, and I didn't find them as functional as I wanted them to be. And the one that I actually used the most was this fitness one. Um, but again, I found it too generic. Um, there was a lot of things on here that I didn't need. Like I didn't use the rest day stickers and I didn't use like the alarm clock ones and so on and so forth. Um, and I've never been really the type of person to do like the whole um, motivational stickers. I, it was never my thing. So I bought those and I used them. I definitely did use those but ooh, sorry yeah, definitely need to get a tripod if i'm going to continue doing this so i used those for a while and then i started running out and what i found when i ran out was that i was interested in doing more of a sticker route mostly for my um, my health tracking and so on and so forth. So I again had gone to Michael's and I found the Mambi Me and My Big Ideas 360, or Create 365 kits. So I got two and this one was the one that was the most generic and it's the 829 uh, piece in the blue and it's just the stickers and it had a bunch of fun stickers so there's that and that but the ones that I ended up using the most were these checklists 
not as checklists, but I use them as dividers. Um, I didn't use their, their pay bill because I found that they were too big. Um, obviously, I used their laundry and their paydays. Um, and again, the, the problem that I ran into was that I found that things were too generalized, too made for people who don't have the same sort of lifestyle that I have. Um, so I've been, I've been slowly working my way through this one, um, for the functional things. Um, but what really got me was actually this. So obviously you can see that it has been, ooh, it has been used. Um, these I found were the best thing that I ever came across and they were made obviously for the happy planner and I just used them to decorate again I would use the um, the full boxes um, to decorate the full boxes on the side and I would use the checklist as a divider and you know I really got into it and I really really enjoyed it but the problem again is I started running out of those functional stickers especially the weight loss related ones and you know these guys are 20, 30 bucks a pop here in, up here in the Great White North. And I didn't want to have to go buy another general kit just so I could get a couple functional stickers. So what I did was I went and I braved the Etsy route. And I had purchased from a shop that Courtney of Kyle and Court had purchased from called Pretty Sheepy. And I just picked up a couple sheets. Obviously, these are used and well loved. Um, I couldn't find a hydrate uh, sheet that had not been used because I like to go through and pick the colors that go with the the kit that I'm using that week. Um, so I had ordered twice from Pretty Sheepy, and both of them were the same things. So I just have the the step counter which I really, really enjoy. I put my steps and the kilometers that it equals out to. Um, and I got the hydrate sheet. So again, you can see I've, this one's been well loved. I also got the little running shoes because my days at the gym aren't really all that different. I'm mostly on the treadmill. And then I also got the scales. So I really enjoyed the way that she did the scales and the um, the running shoes because I in, I like the fact that there's multiple colors all in one row um, and they're easy to find. You don't have to hunt and peck and all of that. Um, quality is so-so. Like having been introduced to other shops now, um, I can see that there is much better quality paper and better printing out there. But as an inexpensive shop, I really, really enjoyed shopping with her. And of course, she sent some freebies when I did my purchases. So I obviously used my little planner there. And then she also sent that one, which is too cute. I have to use the cap one at some point because maybe I'll use it for Infinity Wars. That's a thought. So that was my pretty sheepy. Like I said, I ordered twice for her for the same things. And then I got into the washi route because I was starting to run out of things and I wanted to find a way to decorate more. So this is just from Michael's and it was probably $30 for all of this. And I like that there's different prints, there's some text, there's different sizes of washi. They're all different. So I find it very, very functional. And I had purchased this again because I was starting to run out of my uh, Mambi sticker kit and I was trying to find ways to to make it last because I couldn't find the same one anywhere in Ottawa and I had bought a different one which is kicking around here somewhere um here it is I had bought this one which is really really cute but it's not exactly what I was looking for. I really wanted something that was basically the exact same as my old one, but in different colors. And I wanted the same layout and all that. And I couldn't find it and I was heartbroken. So I picked up some washi and I also picked up 
this guy, whoops, sorry, right here. So this is just a Recollections brand um, paper book. And I had seen somebody on YouTube, I can't remember who it was, but she had used um, thin printed paper, this isn't cardstock or scrapbook paper or anything like that, to decorate one of her spreads. And I thought that was really neat. So I was like, well, you know, maybe I can give that a try. Maybe that'll work. So I bought that. I like that, again, it's all sorts of different colors and different prints, and you could really mix and match and you can make it work. So, and I did a spread in February, I believe, using that. So there we go. So, and that was done with washi. As you can see, I'm not like super, meh. it's a little bit messy, but I did that. And then I also did that one. That was when I was really, really running out of my, my Mambi stuff. So that's when everything started to go a little more towards the Etsy uh, side of things, the true planner side of things. And I had made, I had realized that I was, again, running low on those functional stickers. And I'd been watching a lot of uh, plan with me's and hauls mostly from Viv loves to plan and Holly plans and soda pop studios and I had gotten on Etsy um, to this one uh, shop called sweet bean plants and that one was because of soda pop Sh studios and I decided I needed some grocery shopping stickers which I bought and how cute are these as you can see I've already used a couple and Bean is just so adorable and I love him. And I had also bought um, two weekly kits and two monthly kit, or one monthly kit rather. Now me being the dinkus that I am, I bought the wrong size for the monthly kit. So I had bought the Happy Planner size. Um, and by the time I realized it, the order had already been shipped. So that's on me. So I'm not going to be able to use this one. I thought I might be able to, but it's just, it's really not going to line up. So it's pre very pretty to look at, but it's going to hang out in my collection for a while. So, and I had also bought, let me flip, let me flip. Um, I had also bought this kit, which I thought was adorable. And I don't know if you see the unicorn, but the unicorn is freaking adorable so that was mainly the reason why I bought this kit because I could not pass up that unicorn and I had also bought this 90s kit being a 90s kit I'm 31 um, I had to buy this so those are the full boxes so I haven't used this this was all very recent and the check boxes and the little things the headers and the icons I love the uh nope um, also, her text is hilarious, like, get your groceries, stop, it's planning time. And this is on uh, her other kit as well, so it's not just a 90s thing, which I thought was hilarious. And I love that they came with date covers as well, and a sideways weekend banner. Again, I'm a horizontal planner, so it makes such a huge difference to have a proper sideways weekend banner that you can use on a horizontal kit that doesn't look weird. So I ended up putting it alongside my um, my full boxes, which is why I decided to do those galaxy print ones there, just so it didn't cover any patterns. So as you may see, I also got Happy Mail from Once More With Love and Planner Envy. So those are gonna be a little bit later in the the video here. So with those, with that order, I also got this adorable freebie. Um, I have used the Black Panther one, he's right there. I went to go see it on uh, the 26th with my very best friend and it was amazing. But I love that this entire freebie is all like movie themed and I just thought it was really, really cute. So, um, so this was just basically the weekend before my birthday. My birthday was on the 19th and I happened to have an appointment and I slipped and fell on some ice on the, the Thursday before the 19th. So I came home and treated myself to some retail therapy because 
I was hurt and I was sad. So I went on the Erin Condren website and I made a new order. And the reason I wanted to do a new order was because I wanted a new cover. I love my cover, but I thought, you know, be nice to change it up every so often. So I went on and I ordered this. Um, I cannot remember the name of the color or the print, but I just thought it was very springy and very pretty. Um, so I also bought, at the time, I bought a uh, habit tracker. I bought some uh, return address mailing labels. I'll be completely honest, I'm not gonna show them to you because it has my address on it. I was not super impressed with the quality of the printing on those address labels. Um, I'd be more likely to go onto Etsy find a shop that does that sort of thing and do it that way. I found it very grainy. The sticker quality was not very good. Um, I'm gonna use them because I ordered them and I thought that it would be cute and it's in the same pattern as this is, but probably would never buy them again. Um, I also bought the wet erase markers. There's also a teal that comes with it, but it's over on my desk. I bought this little sticky note thing um, haven't used that yet, but I probably will. I bought some magnetic page markers and I bought some of the keep it together bands. This is just the gray. I got it in the gray, the, the teal and like the burgundy color. And I bought something else and what was it? Oh yes, I bought the, um, the corner pockets. Corner pockets are good. Found that they were a little bit shallow. So it was hard to get like maybe a kit in there to hold it in place until I wanted to use it. But that is what I had bought from Erin Condren and she was having a sale so I ended up not paying a whole, whole lot. And that was partly is like, it's my birthday week and partly I have a bruised tailbone and I need retail therapy. So that weekend I just happened to also be at my parents' place and um, we had gone to the Michaels. I had found a $50 gift card in my room. Sweet, I know. And I had bought a couple things from Michaels. So first I had bought this guy. So this is more scrapbook paper cardstock, but the colors were so pretty, I couldn't pass them up. There's a couple in here that could be a really, and they're double-sided. Um, there's a couple in here that could make a really good journaling card because the back, if you see, is plain. So I I'm gonna use these because the colors were just too pretty but I just don't know if I'm gonna use them the way I had intended to use them, like I had done with my other um, paper pack. So I had also bought this one. This is more like the other one. So again, really pretty colors. I really, really enjoy it. Um, this next week, I'm gonna be using some of the, the papers out of this one um, to do a spread as well as some washi. And speaking of washi, cut off, I don't know what happened. Um, as you can see, I have used that already up here and I really, really enjoyed it. And I think that those are gonna get a lot of use. And I had also bought, oh, dragging things with me, what's going on here? Okay, one, there we go. So I'd also got, again, this sort of pink and mint and gold colorway set. And these guys were both $8.99 Canadian up at the Michaels here. And so I have to put preface this. My parents live in a small town. I live in Ottawa. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada, if you didn't know. I could not, for the life of me, find my original Mambi 360, Create 365 sticker book that I loved and loved and loved. Could not find it here. Go home to visit my parents. And what do I find? This exact thing. The 1050 piece stickers in exactly what I was looking for. I was both annoyed and elated. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this is the middle of nowhere. Ooh, stay open. So this is what it looks like and I just, they're so pretty and there's so many different colors. And I think now that I have the washi and my other icons and stuff like that, I can make this stretch a lot longer. Like, look at that, how pretty is that? And it does have foiling, which I know is a big thing in the community right now and I never really thought about it. So there's some real foiling and then there's some like, make it look like it's foiling, but like, how pretty is that? And I think now that like, 
There we go. Can I get a foil on there? There we go, kind of. There we go. I think now that I have other, um, other, 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 other options, I guess, other kits. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, these guys are going to be stretched quite a bit longer. And also I'm going to be a bit more seasonal with the kits that I use. Cause I found with the, the last time I used these, they were just sort of all over. Like I had like a spring, like what looked like a very spring kit in the middle of October and yeah, middle of October. It's not nice out here. It's usually pretty cold. So that was sort of the, the preface to, okay, let's really do this. Let's really get into this whole Etsy thing. So my next purchase, and I'm so excited about this one because, oof, sorry, because she's Canadian is Marg from Once More With Love here. Let me move these guys out of the way for you. And like I said, I found out she was Canadian and I was just like, oh, I have to support her. I have to support my Canadian people. Um, and also she's from Vancouver, which is where my family's from. I live on the east or almost on the east coast. The rest of my family's on the west coast. It's good times, good times. So I made one order with her and I will definitely be going back. And I actually messaged her because one of the things that I noticed in the planner community was everything is very American, if you know what I mean there was not a lot of Canadian type things. And I messaged her, I'm like, hey, like maybe you could come out with like a Canada Day spread or something. And she's like, oh yeah, it'll definitely be coming out close to that time, promise you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, thank you, thank you. Um, so this was the freebie that I got. And how sweet is that? I love the little bow. Um, I will never use the double date one because I am forever alone, sadly. Um, but at that little CPR one, the little peeking munchkins, like they're so, so cute. I love them. Um, so I had bought a couple, sorry, I had bought a couple sheets. So I had bought the Happy Mail one. And as you can see, I've already used it because I used it for my, spoiler alert, next sweet bean plans uh, order that I got in. But I got that one and I got the lazy day one which i'm going to be using on tuesday because that's my first day off in 12 days and i'm really looking forward to it i also got the planner one so i can use that to mark when i'm doing planning and all of that i tend to plan on sundays so i plan for the week ahead and before it actually happens with the intention of actually you know doing things during the week so my parents are going on a Hawaii cruise this year. So I thought that this would be cute to mark the days that they're away because it's going to be a 15 day cruise, I think, something like that. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I figured we, I could use that and they're just so cute. Um, again, as I said, I go to the gym quite often. So I got these little treadmill munchkins. They're so cute. I showed it to one of my guys and they're like, it kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle. And I'm like, you guys suck. Um, and then I got this other planning one because it was cute. I love the little munchkin on the, the keep it together band. And I got the car one. I'm currently saving for a car. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can use this towards my own. And I bought some laundry cause I do laundry every single week. One would hope. Um, my very, very good friend, uh, extra, she's on Etsy as extra muffins. She loves the, um, the, the washing machine one. I personally really like the one that is like wrinkling her nose, holding the clothes away from her. Mine never get that bad. And then I got a grocery one just because again, groceries every week. And then I bought this, this is very premature. My birthday again is in February, but this is just too cute. So I'm going to use it next year. So that was from once more with love. Sorry, I'm bouncing all over the place. And then, whew, it's warm in here. All right, and then this was my second order from Sweet Bean Plans. I just, I love that she offers a horizontal layout option. And I think that's one of the reasons why I shop with her quite so much is the fact that she has that horizontal. Not many shops do. Like, technically, you can use the vertical layout with the, or the vertical 
kits with the horizontal layout but a lot of times it comes with the those giant washi strips for the bottom and I just think that that to me is a waste of money to use with a horizontal because you can't use them that they're not the right size so I've been I've been holding off ordering vertical kits I'm probably going to be switching to a vertical kit later on but not right now and so and this was the freebie that she sent for this one I like the wash your face um, in the Instapod and the, the little rainbow. Very cute, very St. Patrick's Day. Um, again, I had bought a couple functional kit or functional sticker sheets. This one's a traveling bean. And then I had bought this one, which is the planner bean. He is so cute. I just love him. And then I bought a couple kits. So I got the, um, the workout add-on for each of them. So it has the hydrate sticker, lift day, cardio, go for a run. I love that. Booty, booty, booty. Um, today's workout, the dreaded way in. I really, really like it. And these colors are really pretty. I'm planning on using this one in April um, because that's usually, fingers crossed, when spring starts here in Ottawa. Um, we had a couple really nice days and it is it snowed overnight. So we'll see how long that lasts. So... This is the other kit that I got. I love that light, let your light shine. Very pretty, very nice. And again, check box or yeah, check boxes, little things, half boxes, quarter boxes, headers, weekend banner, date covers, payday, me time, day off, Friday, date night, hump day. And then little things, headers, your weekly checklist, get your groceries, stop its plan in time, happy mail, adulting sucks. I use that one this week because uh, I don't want to work tomorrow because it's normally my day off. So that's one I bought. And then I also bought this one. And I, again, I got the um, workout sheet to go along with it. Where's my phone boxes? There they are. So this one is a bean kit and it's Hello Spring. So I'm going to use that not next week, but the week after because if spring officially starts as according to the calendar. So like, how cute is he? He is so sweet. So again, same layout. You got your check boxes, you got your little things. You've got your half boxes. I love that the half boxes have that faded version of bean. Quarter boxes, headers, weekend banner, date covers, little things, all that. I love that this one has a nope, date night, movie night. So she changes that up every so often. So, and that was my second order from Sweet Bean Plans. And then I had also purchased, get up here, from, there we go, Planner Envy. And I have to say, I was very impressed, first of all, with her prices. And I was also very impressed with the size of her sheets. Like, look at that, like that. That's almost the size of an Erin Condren page. Like, that is impressive. Um, and I had bought them, like I like the colors, I like that there's a different bunch of different options, but I love that they're not so all over the place. Like you can get a couple similar color, like spreads done with one sheet, which I really, really like. So laundry every week, it's just me here. So it's not like it's a, a long ongoing process. So I got two sheets of that. I like that it's nice and simple. I got neutral two sheets of the neutral water tracker and I believe I got four sheets one two three yeah four sheets of the colorful I got a couple step counter sheets um, again I really like the color of the sneakers I really enjoy this and then I got her neutral well they're sort of pink but happy mail so that is what I have right now in terms of my collection. Um, very small to start, but it is growing. I'm currently on a no spend. I'm not allowed to buy anything else unless, of course, I see something that I just really, really want. Um, I do have a couple packages incoming. Um, I had subscribed to the Paper Panda box um, and the Planner Attic box. I saw the sneak for the planner attic box. I'm probably going to unsubscribe before my second one comes in for twofold. First of all, I think there's some dashboards in there and I don't travel or I don't plan with a traveler's notebook or a personal size planner or anything like that. So, um, dashboards are 
not helpful to me. And I think that might be the trend that she's going towards. So I'm probably going to cancel that one. Um, also, the shipping on it was astronomical. We pay international prices up here in Canada from the U.S., which is crazy to me. I just, I can't get over it. And the conversion is just terrible. So I'm probably going to cancel that one. Not because they're, it's bad. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. But mostly because of just the cost. Um, Paper Panda is en route to me. It was supposed to be here yesterday and it is not and I really really wanted it. So once I get that I will probably video that um, and see how I like it. I'm Again I might either cancel or downgrade it because I think I have the sticker and the Paper Panda at the same time. So I might just downgrade it to like the normal Paper Panda box instead of just having the stickers or maybe just the stickers, not the Paper Panda box. I don't know. I'll have to see them, see what comes in it, see if I'm impressed with it. That one was the less expensive and the shipping wasn't quite so astronomical on that one. The only issue I have with that so far is that because February was a shorter month, I was charged for my new, my second box before I even got the first. So that's the only thing. But again, I hold out judgment. I'm really excited. I really want to see them. So there's that. And then what else do I have coming? I have an order from Clever Gal Crafts because I couldn't help myself. Um, when she opened back up shop, I had to get some stickers. So that is coming. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but she probably got absolutely inundated with orders. Um, I also have a order coming from KPL Designs. I ordered two uh, monthly kits and a weekly kit. That one's vertical. I said I wouldn't order vertical, but I did um, just because they were so pretty. And finally, I have a order coming from Peach Palm. She, again, restocked just yesterday and I ordered a couple, I think I ordered four, four or five different clips. So those are on their way as well. So I'm very excited. I'm going to be getting lots and lots of happy mail for the next couple days and it's going to be exciting and I'm, I'm fully in great, uh, get myself into this whole planner thing. So have a lovely day. I have to go to work um, and enjoy your weekend. Bye.